welcome to Taco Bell. What can we get started for you? Yes, can I get uh, one crispy melt taco uh, and then one crunch wrap supreme and okay. one burrito supreme and that'll be it? Great, thank you. This is gonna be good. Let's dive into today's video, shall we? What's up everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel-Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Did you like that intro ladies and gentlemen? Well let me tell you that Taco Bell was so good. So smash the ever living boo boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even closer to 1100 subscribers and just keep on climbing up that sub ladder so we can climb even further beyond the 1k ladder i hope y'all having a fantastic day i know i am because now that we have a new ban list haha <laughs> i can finally do a tier list and maybe even make some people mad with my booty booty butt cheek patent pending category <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for another Yugi tuber to be like, hey, I saw this from another Yugi tuber. Of course, they won't mention my name because they don't want to give me credit. And they'll be like, I decided to come up with this booty, booty, butt cheek category. And I'm going to be like, ha ha, that's from me, homie. Don't be stealing that. No, I'm just playing. Uh, if you want to use this for your own tier list, just give credit where credit's due, boo boo. <laughs> so, anyway, all that aside, I want to talk about uh, the brand new format uh, now that tier basically got taken out back and shot in the nuts <laughs> and uh talk about what we can expect for the meta moving forward this does go into effect february 13th the latest balance that we have so if you are going to the uh, remote dual ycs or whatever kind of ycs it is team ycs i don't know uh this upcoming weekend february 11th uh through 12th you are playing under the ashizu tier zero format crap ass format so have fun at that 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 events can be very irrelevant in terms of representation and numbers things like that and information data but let's go ahead and uh dive on into this so right out of the gate eldritch is booty booty butt cheeks <laughs> this this trap deck is so bad compared to labyrinth which honestly uh, here's the thing with labyrinth ladies and gentlemen i hate this fucking deck i straight up it it requires no skill and all it is is just like some player playing with waifus and, like, they're searching out Eradicator Epidemic Virus and setting it to their back row. Like, don't get me wrong, Labyrinth is basically just the evolved form of Eldritch. It's just a much better trap deck. But going against it is so toxic. There's no skill involved with the deck. Like, there's no skill in flipping over a Floodgate or flipping over a trap card like Eradicator. Like, it, it's toxic. At the same time, the deck is damn good. But me, I'm going to be salty every time I play against it. Like, it's it's very good. Elder Lich has just fallen off. Um, also, the reason why I have Tier 1 and Tier 2 and not, like, Tier 0 or Tier 1.5, uh, I don't like doing Tier 1.5. It's like, if you're going to put it in 1.5, you might as well put it in 1. And I also don't believe that now with the hits with Tier Element, <laughs> I do not believe that this deck is Tier 0 anymore. I, I just don't. It's lost so much consistency. However, I do think it's still going to at least be a Tier 2 deck. Obviously, we're going to have to wait and see what happens. But I do feel, moving into this new format, Tier Element will still be a fairly good deck, especially when it is able to pop off and its mills work in its favor. I do believe, though, that it will be a Tier 2 deck. Also, shout out to uh, this new format as we drink our Crown and Pepsi. Damn, Crown Royale is good, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so moving on here. Flunder. So they lose Barrier Statue, and honestly, I think I'm still going to keep them as a rogue deck. You know, Empin, when people don't remember that they have to special summon their stuff in defense, is very insane. Um, do I think it's really going to be as good as it once was? No. You know, Barrier Statue is what made the end board broken. You know, there, there's not really anything scary about just ending on an Empin with, like, maybe Dreaming Town in the back row. You know, Barrier Statue is what made that board broken. Maybe they'll move on to playing Scary Sea, since that's kind of like a Barrier Statue, but it allows the opponent to Normal Summon or set three times. So we're going to have to wait and see. I do feel like it is a fairly decent Rogue deck moving into the new format. Uh, also, this is a um, OCG version, so I don't know like what these two pictures are here, but I can tell that this is by steel. So I, since I don't know what these are, I'm just going to consider this like straight by steel. Um, straight by steel, like just a straight out by steel deck. I don't really think that's good. I'm going to put this at tier two. However, when you're talking about by steel sprite or by steel tier elements, 
that's where like you kind of move into the tier one category. But just as a deck of its own, it is tier two. You need to keep in mind what the buy steals do. We're getting Baldrake and Hypernova. It's a common. It's really good. We're going to be seeing this played in tier one decks. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, next up, Sprite. They lose Elf. However, Runic Sprite and by extension, Tri Brigade Sprite, it, like what we're seeing in the OCG, I feel is still somewhat competitive and i feel that it at least for the beginning of the format is going to be tier one do i think it's going to be able to hold that position no because elf was such a disgusting card it was one of the if not the most broken monster in power of the elements it deserved to be banned and now that that's gone you've really kneecapped sprites or struck them at the kneecaps if you will um, from being able to make plays, you know, now they're totally awesome, can be targeted. If they want to resurrect, they're totally awesome. Like, they have to play some bad shit, like, back to the front or call the haunted or something. And, like, no one's going to do that in 2023. So, I do feel that depending on the variation, especially since the deck can play, like, 12 to 15 hand traps, you can just play Sprite as a fucking sub-engine and still be able to make plays. Um, on top of that, too, with the, the Gishki engine, I think that this could be very much Tier 1. Uh, moving on here, we've got Cash Tira. This deck has just moved from Tier 2 to Tier 1 because of the hits on Tier Element. However, the deck is easily beaten. If you're playing Sphere Mode, you're going to win the ballgame. If you open up Nibiru, you're going to win the ballgame. Kaijus, you're going to win. Like, I was playtesting against a fucking Crusadia deck, which Crusadia's booty booty butt cheeks, don't get me wrong. But, like, the dude literally only beat me because he had Nibiru in Game 3. Had that not happened, we would have beat him. So, it's like, the deck's very easy to beat in that regard, like... I've been trying so many things to out Nibiru, but it's like, I don't want to play cross out because if you're playing cross out, your deck already has issues from the get-go. So, you know, that that's just something to keep in mind. Branded, you know, with the hits to tier, I'm going to put them in tier two. You know, Branded is getting new support in Hypernova and I, and I also believe in Cyberstorm Access, but I don't feel like it's really ever going to be back at that tier one spot unless like Sprite and Cash Tira die. You know, Cash Tira doesn't really hurt Branded too bad because... Even if their stuff gets banished, Lubelion can still fuse from the banish pile. Maybe we'll see Tier Element Branded become a thing again, or Tier Element Adventure Sprite become a thing again. Um, but I do feel like Branded is still a very solid deck moving forward. I just don't think it's going to be at that Tier 1 level status. Exosister. This deck has really fallen off. This thing is rogue and has a terrible fucking Cash Tira matchup because Cash Tira don't care about their graveyard. Like, what what are you as an Exosister player gonna do to me, the Cash Tira player? You're gonna Dimension Shifter me and I'm gonna be like, okay, thank you. Now I can just hold on to my Dimension Shifter for the next turn and like neither of us will ever have a graveyard. I just don't feel like Exosister is really enough to get you there anymore. Also, I just hate how the deck fucking functions. It really annoys me. Like, they, they, they play all these cards and I don't know what their shit does. And it's like, just, just go away. Le leave me alone. <laughs> Um, let's jump around here a little bit. So Valiants have an FTK. They're still booty booty butt cheeks. Uh, I'm guessing this is pure Orcist. If not, there was a rank eight slash level eight Axis deck that topped a regional. So if you want to make the Dengirisu like picture that deck, then sure it's rogue. But if we're just talking about straight Orcus, then no, it's booty booty butt cheeks. Spiral have three resort. They're still booty booty butt cheeks because Master Plan is banned. So please don't play this deck. You'll you'll lose every time. Um, Sky Strikers. The TCG loves their Sky Striker, but I gotta put it in Booty Booty Butt Cheeks, because, like, how do you beat Cash Tira when they lock out your graveyard? None of your spells are going to the grave. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Dark World is still liquid ass with big old chunks inside. Uh, straight Shadals are bad. Maybe they'll be combined with Tier, which in that case, okay, they're kind of Tier 2, but they're, they're Booty Booty Butt Cheeks. Ninjas are Booty Booty Ass Cheeks. Uh, Pendulum Magician is still a pile of ass cheeks, even with three Servant of Endemion. Um, Sword Soul. You know, I'm going to put Sword Soul in Rogue. You know, the fact of ending on Chang Ying, Blackout, and a Baron is disgusting. Um, and it is a cheap, somewhat meta deck. Especially, like, if you play things like Rivalry and just get out your Floodgates and just proceed to play with yourself. It's, it's disgusting. So... I wouldn't sleep on Sword Soul if, you know, you don't want to spend over $1,000 on Cash Tira. Then, yeah, go <laughs> go with Sword Soul. Don't don't break the bank, especially for Cash Tira when they easily lose to shit like Nibiru. Um, Pearlies, the, this is just an EV waifu deck. The, the deck's really bad. Punk as a straight, like, raw deck is bad. Uh, but if you're combining it with Plunder Patrol, then you're kind of looking at a rogue deck. So keep that in mind, too. Like, since you can't play Punks with 
Plunder Patrol and they're not pictured on here. Plunder Patrol, unless this is Plunder Patrol, but I don't know what the hell this thing is. Uh, Plunder Patrol is a rogue deck, but just straight punk. No, we're going to put that in the booty booty butt cheek category. Um, I don't know what, what these are, and Zephyr is not a relevant thing in the OCG, so I'm just going to ignore this whole back half here. Uh, Virtual World is liquid ass cheeks with big old chunks inside. Dracos, even with that new like pendulum stuff, no, it's 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 bad. How do you compete with Banishing? Like Unless you're able to break the board, go in second. Um, Cybers in general is booty booty butt cheeks. Um, so Math Mech. I know Crystal Beast isn't pictured on here, but we're going to talk about Crystal Beast with this. There was a Crystal Beast deck that topped using a small Math Mech engine. I do think that Crystal Beast is rogue. Um, Math Mech, it just as a straight Math Mech deck, is booty booty butt cheeks. Crystal Beast with the Math Mech engine is rogue, so do keep that in mind. Uh, straight Scare Claws, liquid ass cheeks. Uh, Arrival Cybers Attic Mister, the deck is liquid ass cheeks. Um, Dragon Link. I'm going to put Dragon Link in Rogue. Like, you still have three Magnemite. Like, you should be able to do something. And you have the whole Buy Steel package. So, like, uh, yeah. Like, you 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 belong in Rogue. Last but not least, because, like I said, I, I don't know what these cards are here. Uh, last up but not least is Runic. I'm going to put Runic in Tier 2, actually. Like, you, the deck didn't get hit at all. Like, I even said, like, Tip should kind of go to 1. Like, Tip's a broken card. Especially, like, if Sprite Runic becomes a thing, then this just jumps up to Tier 1. I think that Runic is still going to be a fantastic deck moving forward. And it's, like, really cheap, ladies and gentlemen. Like, people say, oh, Cash Tier is so expensive, I can't afford this deck, blah, 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 blah. But it's also, like, bro, you have so many fucking alternatives. Like, this format, just at face value, is so much more healthier and so much more diverse than last format. Like, you have so many deck choices to choose from. Like, if you don't want to break the bank, just place play something in this row category. Or just play Runic and just troll the opponent. Like, you have so many options, ladies and gentlemen. Like, honestly, like... This is a much better format. Like, yeah, you got a lot of stuff in the booty booty ass cheeks. But, like, if you're playing at locals, any of these fucking decks could top. Like, it's a locals. Like, no one cares. So, guys, let me know what you think about this tier list for the brand new format down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.